In this section we're going to look at how the templates are imported from the course, from the walk cycle course. Um, start by going into the course here, scrolling down to the template section and at the beginning of every template section there is a video showing what um, the animation of the templates will look like. This one is uh, the first one, the bop. Um, and we'll go down to the second one which is the glide all these animations are set uh, both ways left to right and right to left and they come in bones and body format and a combination of bones and body the third section the third walk which is the strut left to right right to left there's a bones format there's a bones and body format and there's the body format. So choose a format that you want to use for your animation. Choose a style of walk um, and then go down to the zip file section of that style. In this case we are um, choosing walk C, the strut. Choose the formats bones or body, body and bones, etc. In this case we're choosing all three and just hit the button the zip files will download onto your system open the zip files and grab those templates there'll be 24 in each um, that's a full cycle and open up your software your animation software in this case we're using open tunes and uh, just import them into your system here with open tunes it, it uh, runs it across 24 columns so we have to go grab them and stack them and put them into one which doesn't take a long time and um, we are done there is the animation in this case we've used the strut and there's our guy walking it's as easy as that all you have to do now, now that you have the walk cycle laid out in the templates, is go and create your character over it. You can trace the templates and either you can use all 24 frames in the cycle or you can just use keyframes, so maybe 8 frames to set up the keys. Depends how you want to animate it, but um, that's how you use the templates to create your walk cycle.